What is happening, patrons? John here. Thank you very much for joining me. Roddy Rich, please excuse me for being anti-social. It is about time. This has been so close to winning so many polls, but it's finally won. I'm excited to check this one out. Of course, obviously, like everyone, I know the song The Box, but plenty of tracks on here, plenty of decent features as well. If you're seeing this on YouTube and you're wondering what I'm talking about, check the link down in the description to the Patreon. Not only can you see this reaction in uncut form, but also extra admin reactions every single month. The entire support structure for this channel. Right, let's do it. Roddy Rich. Every time, you know it's war time. I ain't remember I ain't used to leave the house without my four or five. I ain't got. I think he almost approaches, in what I've heard from him anyway, almost approaches like actual singing. A lot of melodic trap, you know, so much auto tune going on, and yeah, it's kind of being sung, but kind of not, and that's becoming more and more prevalent, even with the little dirks in his world. But Rolly Rich almost actually sounds like he's singing. You can tell he has a good ear for melody, and he's actually able to sing, which I think makes a difference to his music. This is an interesting intro as well, just telling us a little bit about his life. Tell me, I've been counting up the bag, yeah, yeah. I get to load a bag, I'm fucking up years. Go get the birdie, birdie, nigga, I need some hands. Put my dick inside her mouth like it's Chris toothpaste. Yeah, she gave me head like a toothpaste. <laughs> Put my dick inside her mouth like Chris toothpaste. Yeah, she gave me head like a toupee. We're not exactly talking Lupe Fiasco here with these lyrics, but beat wise, drop wise, melody wise, still enjoying the track. Put it out the coop at the lot, turn for a 12 fuck swat, buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box, had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn seal, I'ma get lazy. Where the stash at? Cruise the city in a bulletproof Cadillac, cause I oh, know these niggas. I wanna sit and vibe out. And all I can think of is fucking kids dancing to TikToks to this song. I don't even use TikTok, but for the brief period I did, that's when this song was massive on TikTok, and that's kind of what happened to this song, right? And so I'm just trying to sit down and relax, listen to the lyrics, or just enjoy the vibe, put the shades on. And all I can do is think of those fucking kids dancing about. That's annoying as hell. Still, the song is very, 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 very good. Up the whole damn seal, I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals, we been trapping like the She's so Straight in. I've been the rat through another nigga city. I got a brand new Draco with me. Clip got 33, Scotty Pippin, bitch. Nigga ain't heard of me, I got a rich. Dripping my star today. Fucking, I'm buying our Barney's, yay. I'ma hang with the gangbangers, he only hang with the feds and the rats and the mice. The way he uses his flow to kind of sometimes juxtapose with the beat, sometimes flow with the beat is really amazing. More so in the box than this song, I'd say. Interesting beat choices again, very much trap, but there's interesting stuff going on there, just the way these things are put together. He's making music that, yeah, it sounds like other people. It definitely sounds like a lot of other people in this lane, but it almost feels a little more creative just in how the stuff is structured. I'm looking forward to hearing how Gunner uh, glides across this beat as well. Okay, I like the way that each track is going into the next, going into the next. Peanut butter seeds came perfect time. Rich, but I'm still ducking one time. I seen the light and I climbed in. Had to take him out, we ain't gon' dine in. Shotty done fell in love with all my diamonds. But we just bought Cullen in just to maintain. I talked to her, my brother near me on the same day. We just trying to motivate. Really sounds like Young Thug when he moves into that cadence with his voice. I like the piano here. It reminds me, almost like changes by Tubo, obviously. Very different lyrically and very different style of song. But yeah, it really does sound like Young Thug there to the point where I actually thought it was Young Thug. He had this stick on a nose plate. Peanut butter seeds came perfect time. Rich, but I'm still dug in one time. Yeah, I made it out the dirt, yeah. See my niggas in the hearse having nightmares in church. Trying to make sure my mama got a couple racks got in the purse. showroom. Car came from the top rope, yeah. Don't give no ops hope. I just gave my dog a roll and told him take the clock approach. Say she wanna fuck another bitch, I made it happy. <laughs> Felt like Michael Jackson. Moonwalk. 
I thought we were going into something really serious and like really personal here. And no, say she wanna fuck another bitch. I made it happen. All right, well, it's a different type of vibe. Fine, she fuck with fifth. She like to ride right on top the dick. I got diamonds, Eliantes. Baby, they black, I'm a rhyme, <laughs> Shake your head at the real. I think that may well be the last Harambe reference that we get in music. Obviously, you've got the double reference to the Young Thug song as well, but Harambe just doesn't really feel like he's talked about anymore. It's a shame. R.I.P. Harambe. Pussy through your panty, oh. I fuck from the back, I put my thumb in her. Okay. That little bitch tall, I fuck her on my tippy toes. She used Chanel, I put in the bed, she come right out of that can of gold. And I need sex, and I don't like the brag, she put in the ecstasy pill in her ass. Yeah, I'm dirty, your bitch, you know I got the power. Can you be down like... She's putting an ecstasy pill in her ass. And your thumb, little dirt. Busy. Between Perfect Time and Moonwalking, we didn't get a transition. We've had a transition on one, two, three, and four. And now we've had a transition from five to six. So it's almost like, is this going to be almost chaptered out? Um, just in the way the transitions go. We'll see this maybe the final transition, but I do like the way the transitions are put together It's making it feel like an album. We'll see we've got a lot of songs to go I'm hoping for songs that get into Roddy's personality and his life a bit more and something that's structurally as interesting as the box again mm. Hey, big step like big meat. Mm -hmm. I was taught to go and get it straight about the mother little nigga <laughs> I ain't never had no feeling what I got planned next gotta put the stars in the sun hearing the coldness in his character and his thoughts. I mean, throughout the record, but there's also that mournful side as well, but here, when he goes into that tone with his voice, you can feel that kind of almost cold-blooded element come out, which matches with the cover, which matches with the title of the album. If he ain't trying to go get the safe, I get it cracking solo. Mm -hmm. Hey, big stepper like big meat. Mm -hmm. I was taught to go and get it straight about the mud, little nigga. Thank God for all of these blue faces, I barely done made it. Ooh. Made 40,000 on New Year's, took a private to Vegas. I've been on Promethazine, so... And all these millions, I know they gon' hate it. My chef cook up for filet mignon. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Ate it. Nigga, I've been... When he said millions like that, there's no way that's not coming with filet mignon. There's no way it's not. And you delivered, you delivered for me, Roddy. Uh, yeah, this is one of the best songs on the record so far. Beat construction, subject matter, tone of his voice has great delivery on his message. Some good lines in there mentioned a flu game with Jordan, legendary moment. He thought the money make you happy, it don't make you different. I start to see that shit myself when I got a couple million. Bro, through them, you can't walk inside my shoes like a sneaker punk. I overcome obstacles and they still come. I was trying to, I eat that pussy like steak. She eat my dick like a crepe. I got some niggas in the <laughs> south, I sip on purple like grape. You don't have to eat your dick like a crepe. It's all chewed up. It's terrible. House got a bird's view through God's eyes. Woo. I got gang gang. My penthouse got a bird's view through God's eyes. That's a line. That's a line. Uh, the song, the sound of it reminds me of Ballin' with him and Mustard, which isn't on the album. Uh, but Mustard is on a track later. Uh, but yeah, lyrically slightly different to that track. But similar vibe, similar vibe. Meek Mill on this one. Meek Mill has had a rough couple of weeks getting into that location with 6 9 And then that terrible, terrible, terrible Kobe Bryant bar leaking out there and him sort of saying he'd apologised to Kobe Bryant's wife, but then also doubling that. I mean, Jesus Christ. When a man pours french fries onto his legs and takes a photo of it, you have to question some of his thought processes. And I think that's what we're seeing right here. Still an amazing rapper, though, so we shall see. Yeah, yeah. I used to fuck up my real. Now it's the jab with my feet up. I got the money and power. Now none of these niggas. <laughs> it's a fucking slideshow Bob slide whistle in the beat here, but I'm still for it. Alice at V Live, honeycomb set is in the chain like a beehive. He say he want to static with a nigga, seen him in the streets, he ain't trying to be about it. Hey, then on the crib in the series, blue faces in my mirrors. We now it's the jab with my feet up. I got the money and power. Roy Rich's bit was really good, and I was going, no, actually, I'm fucking with the beat, and then it went to the high slide whistle again, and I'm not. The rest of it's good, though. Good flex track. Roddy Rich can really rap as well when he wants to. 20 racks on his head, the young nigga sliding dog. I get a bag to double it. All of that talking ain't adding up. These niggas, hey, all of that talking ain't adding up. I just been lowering them ladders up. I heard they said they're going to ride me. All of them niggas can back it up. Nigga just quit all that acting tough. See you, we turning that savage up. Calling the peace tree. Bitch, I've been turning the static up. 
Transition again. Yeah, I did like that track. Slide whistle notwithstanding. I've been on top for a while. Now side chip to the moon. Fast car make it go room room. Take it to the boom boom room. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm. Good vibe on this song. I uh, really like the beat and that kind of vocal sample that's working in there as well. Just one to kind of slide away with. Good record so far, actually. Really is. Mud. See me no mud. Niggas talk shit, but they never ever working on my confidence. In respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. I guess it's DJ Mustard and Roddy Rich. Because if I did, I cannot get that damn song hmm. out my head. And every time it comes on the radio, I, I, I start bopping my head. Put that on that beat. Shawty made that ass clap, she don't need no applause. High fashion, like go, y'all. G way. Gotta do with none of these niggas no more. If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Feeling I keep it inside my heart. And I keep a pedicure cause I don't do facade You can see my diamonds even when I'm in the dark And since you got it, it make you go and do anything you want Shawty man I put some ice on you cause you got a cold heart I know I know you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe You know I like when you right at the top, babe yeah, the song was alright. I don't really understand why that's the longest song on the record. It was fine. It did its job. Production was decent. She wants the lean. She wants the Gucci. I ride with some harness on me. I got the blue cheek. <laughs> cheek, cheek. <laughs> I blew a back out. Fucking that bitch got it tapping up. Got me buzzing like busting the racks out. It's, it's a race car. Better yet, it's a jet to my windows black. Give me toppy at the light. Is you wearing the dad? Let me pull the to the side. We go. Yeah, song's fine. I feel like we're running out of steam a little bit on the record. Ty Dollar Sign always sounding good on anything, really. It's just kind of what he does, right? Uh, a few songs to go. I do feel like we're running out of steam a little bit, but it's been an enjoyable listen. Been through strike, my heart is cold as ice. Mm. Double cup, I pour up for the night. Hard tar, I'm just sitting in the low light. I just wanted my blue strips, never wanted fame. I bought an engine just to mash out. I'm about to smash out. Lean out the window with rags out. Production really good on this track. Very atmospheric. Again, lots going on in instrumental. I think this is a step up from the last few songs, to be honest. But, I mean, when you think about the creativity and the ingenuity of the box and a few of the other tracks earlier on here that had this crazy energy, we have lost that a little bit towards the back half of this album. But, still a few tracks to go. <laughs> Heart beating, my mind racing up. Mm -hmm. You can hear the screams and sirens in the cut. Mm -hmm. How did the trap fall? Uh. See a cop, got a trap. That's why I got the nine in my pocket for. Be the whole sweet. Couldn't even go to sleep. A lot of my family members got got. My uncle looked the police in his eyes and he got shot. Tell me how that make you feel. It's quite a powerful track, um, sort of cut back instrumental, just the acoustic guitars with the sort of fret slides kept in just to give it that more authenticity. And then what he's talking about, about his early life and the fucking reality of the situation that he was in and the life that he continued to choose within that situation. And then my uncle looked the police in his eyes and he got shot. I mean, it's quite an intense track. Family that's drug dealers. I got family that's murderers. I got family that love niggas. And family important, you just gotta embrace it. Like your it's a good track, that. Very good. Very, very good. Fucking with his beat already. Only on the nigga put the hoe down, hood on. <laughs> Petra Nutter knew I had put the drip on. Ask me how many niggas I done put on. My private plane's about to fly with the good old. Here he's like overseeing everything. You know, like the godfather of Compton in a strange sort of way. It's almost like it's how he's presenting himself 
there and there's an almost Italian godfathery element into the way the guitar is constructed in the beat. I don't know if that's deliberate, that's just what I'm reading into it. Like a bitch, I had to grab her by the waist, hit the pussy till I knock it out of place. In a V12, get a lot of face, spread the details, finished on the face. Ten but let's see y'all go wearing ass, nigga. Hoodied up with a mask, nigga. Since snatched, now you want it back, nigga. I just hope you don't go and ride, nigga. Long John's right under the strap, nigga. I came around with five, Roddy came with six, and we got 11 straps with us. Fuck with my ride or die. Holes in your body, nigga, like SpongeBob and backflip. It go tired or die, tired or die. Nigga, I know magic. I'm from the bottom of the bottom, check your sources, baby I'm a war, baby, but I can't divorce the paper I'm a hood nigga that turned rich, so I got Dior's latest I'm from the bottom of the bottom, check your sources, baby I'm a war, baby, but I can't divorce the pavement Fucking hell Powerful end to the album After it lost a little bit of steam here, last three tracks I can tell straight away from this one and the previous two really brought the energy back and, and brought the, that kind of almost. You know, lot I gotta stick to my roots. I still rock out Jordans, out baby. Yeah, it right. was hell in the projects. I survived the storm. Got brothers in the sky. They died for they born. I know the way I survived in the trenches. I'm a war, baby. Had to slide on the sliders. That ain't normal, baby. Like the mob ties in Houston, we got ragtime. Had to slide. We was hopping out in bro. So I'm the hallway. From to the morning, hallway. I was gonna say this is a sermon to the streets, but also the sermon to the fucking trenches, man. And now we've really, really gone to church with this chorus here, and I'll take it back a little bit. This is a powerful song, man. Very, very, very strong stuff. Some of the lines in here, you know, a little bit of the glory, but mainly just, just the fucking horror of it. Very, very, very powerful pictures being painted. <laughs> Yeah, that was an amazing final track. And yeah, the last few songs of this album really did bring it home, which allowed the bit where I thought it was running out of steam to just be a few lighter songs. If we'd lost steam all the way through to the end of the record, then yeah, it would have been a bit of a shame, but no, absolutely not in the end. We end up bringing it home with some very, very, very powerful, very kind of emotionally effective songs. That War Baby was definitely one to take time with, to add the trauma of that existence onto your regular trauma that people go through um, that aren't from those circumstances, that don't have to deal with that stuff. And I think that stuff being told so artfully is powerful and then you got a song like the box where everybody's tiktok dancing to it and listen i'm happy to tiktok dance into it because it's made really rich a lot of fucking money and will continue to make it money and that's what you want ultimately but i think it's so important when you listen to an artist like really rich to listen to an artist like really rich yeah i enjoyed the record a lot in the end i do think it's extremely talented i'm looking forward to whatever he comes out with next i'm going to spend more time with his record as well that is it. If you want to see this in uncut form, link down in the description to the Patreon. You all know how it works by now. The entire support structure for the channel, but also these extra album reactions decided by the patrons every single month. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching. I'll be John Nett. I'll catch you on the next one, right? Peace.